Hello, and welcome to the final demo that we'll be looking at as part of the coverage of 2024 February Steam Next Fest. Right, so this is say, it's Pacific Drive. We're going to start a new game. I'd like to customise our settings before you start. Um, tumble hiding, close eyes when inside a tumbling, a tumbling car. Camera bob. Reduce flickering visual. Ah, oh, we're fine, I think. It's all. Right. Oh, so we can put. Ooh, modifiers. So, three quirk hints, three quirk guesses, harmful status effects. Dangerous status effects can affect car parts. Infinite fuel, persistent fuel. Um, top up fuel. Uh, just one run. Uh, three repair. Please hold time to interact with the engine ignition. Tap to shift gears. Oh, we can have. Wait. What does it? What does it mean with that? Easy shifter is. Oh. Oh, uh, wet weather traction allow wet weather to affect car handling. Yeah. You know what? We're just gonna leave it as is. Not going to touch them. But it's interesting that it's got all those modifiers then, so you can really get in there and customise it. Huh. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for promising new technology. As rumours of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about Overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. And that's where we come in. <coughs> Sir. It would appear we're a courier. We've got our parcel. We've got some good music on. Right. Oh, that's the point, isn't it? We're in America. This side of the road. <laughs> What have we got then? Sulfur in the smoke, close to the snow. Bit of rain, bit of rain. <clears throat> that will be the border of the exclusion zone then. I'll come clean as well, I've I have uh, watched a lot of this on stream. This is one of those like quirky games that I'm just really interested in. So I've already been watching a bit. I've been looking at all the demo, uh, all the demos, all the trailers, and that. It's pre-purchased already on the PlayStation. 
I'll be pre-downloading it in a few days. That sort of thing. It will be on the channel. <laughs> right. But I'm interested to have a go myself early before it goes into uh, what's it turn. Um, yeah, I'm interested in having a go myself before it uh, releases. I'm guessing though, because it seems like we are. It sounds like first we're having some radio. Oh, that's the radio then. like as well from the way we're driving it's um it does appear to be an automatic which i think i think they're like more popular in america aren't they like everyone drives automatic over here it's very much everyone drives a, a manual still or the stick shift as they say oh yeah I, I couldn't imagine driving I suppose it simplifies things, I guess. I've not really tried it before, so I wouldn't be all that knowledgeable on it. Well, this is bad. I'm sure when it says travelling there, I'm sure travelling has two L's. I'm not certain though. I'd have to see it spelt. But I'm certain it's two L's. Oh, there's my car. <laughs> yep. There it goes. <laughs> and, um, we might be at the other side of the wall. I mean, I know at the other side of the wall, like I say, I've already watched this being played through, but yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I guess we're going. That looks like the way to go. So I guess now we're getting the on foot tutorial. It's de oh god, why is that a sign to jump? But yeah, um I'll probably have to swap jumping into oh. act around. Someone out there? Hello? What a swan, eh? Ah, oh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Right, so we've got a noise coming from the uh, radio in the car. Someone might have noticed us. Um. Yeah. So we've got, <laughs> you'll notice, we've got a flat, we've got a good tyre, quote unquote good, 
another one there, and then that appears to be gone. Um, put the wheel back on. Where is the wheel? Where did it get off to? Ah! Hold it down, okay. signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey Francis, come here! Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Right. I hey, noticed hey, we as well there's no uh, hey, do you handbag. Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? They, they, they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they mean... They're from outside? They're a preacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. You close the shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can and be quick about it. And this is why we needed a handbrake. <laughs> or does this act as the handbrake? We put it in park. So I guess that's the equivalent of handbrake. Again, I'm not familiar with automatics. I drive a manual, so... Right. Uh, siphon fuel. Oh, fuel can. I was wondering how, where we were going to put it, but... Okay. There we go. We have a fuel can. <laughs> Got it. I will say, I'm really... Because I've, I've seen it, again, I've seen it a bit before, but I've, I'm very impressed with the, like, how much attention to detail there is in the simulation of running a car with this. And... It really could just be best described. As being basically it's um what do they call them oh, games? Oh, a stalker. Oh, there it is again. That it's like stalker meets um I don't know, I'm trying to think of a what would it be like? Mud runners or something? That can't be. There hasn't been something like that. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> uh, reverse. <laughs> when you find that shelter, go on and let yourself in. I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive.
That looks vaguely like shelter. Oh, I guess we're going round the front, maybe. Suddenly my turning ain't so good. I'm wondering if another tire's gone flat. <coughs> I'll be honest, when I was looking at this, I was kind of hoping that it was going to be either VR or support a steering wheel or something. Not that I own either of them. But if if it were, I'd be half tempted to buy one. <laughs> right. So a switch for power. That looks like a switch. But it's not the switch we need. Right. And again, as much as I say I've watched some of this, it was about a month ago, so bear with me. Maybe there's a way we... and yeah, maybe we walk in and turn it on from in there? Well, if she's just going to leave the place unlocked... I can't interact with it. So it did just drop off. Right. of the entire collection of poems I've personally written at 10 years and 17 volumes and... Oh, I like that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. So, <laughs> another breach, huh? How do you outsiders not understand that I didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Oh, God, unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against creatures trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Right, well, I've gone and done all the uh, bits that we needed to do while you were talking. Right. <laughs> well. <laughs> Got a few things to do. One, put the wheel back on. So now we can interact with it, I'm guessing. We made it here in only two pieces. <laughs> Pretty good. 
Um, go. Hmm. What do you do? Oh. Drive a car into the auto shop. Is this not in enough? Add to your to-do list. Crew door. Open headset operating system. Nope, that's pause. That one. The car has abilities. Certain components and equipment that you install will have abilities that need to be activated. In car controls, while in the driver's seat you can steer, brake, reverse, shift between park and drive and turn the ignition key. You can also toggle the radio, headlamp, uh, headlights and windshield wipers. Should all else fail, honk the horn. You can uh, remap these controls and change camera settings in the options menu. I do love rebindable controls, I'll admit. Blueprints. Crew door. Into checks. There we go. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Okay. Search the garage. Uh, search the toolbox by the garage for a pry bar. Um, mechanics kit, and we got some duct tape. There we go. It contains mostly plastic, but also some road flares. If I smash this, but that has damaged my pry bar. <laughs> Search for dumpster. Okay. Weird interdimensional space dumpster, which may or may not glow. This is probably the thing I'm meant to use to take parts off, I guess, then. Yes. Okay.
and we'll hit this up with all our parts that we've collected. Good as new. <laughs> Get the repair putty from the locker. There's also a spare tire. Um I've been pressing drop instead of transfer, haven't I? Right, picked up everything else. Um, repair put it. Use it to repair the car. And wow! I do love this part. It just morphs back into place. <laughs> This door, when it's repaired, should actually look not bad. Because it's a steel door as opposed to a crude one. So that almost looks new. Almost. Could honestly watch that all day. I think that's the lot. Ah, bumper at the front. <laughs> Fix a flat tire. Scan the flat tire. Fixed ceiling kit. Replace the flat with the spare found in the locker. And grab this. Pop it on. Wonderful. Scan the loose wheel. Equip the mechanics kit. Loose fix mechanics kit. Um, what? No, put it back. Um, do, 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 do. that's the mechanics kit. Lovely. Zone preparation. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Step two. Install the craft mat in the trunk. And there we go. Step three, uh, arc device. There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit.
and install. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Pick up the gear blueprint in the front of the garage. Pick up the impact hammer blueprint. Hmm. Uh, pump fuel in, okay. Right. There we go. Charge of a battery. Oh god, we're down to 7%. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. This the is a zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. Right, okay. So... Set destination, toggle legend, um... Cool. Um, let's go to here then, I guess. Not that Off we have much choice. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. And I guess we're off. Just like that. Um, we should probably put our stuff in the back. Right. Well, honestly... We probably don't need all the resources that we're taking. Right. Okay. Looking good then. And this will be our minimap. Right. Left out of the garage, and we're off. Generally surprised that the boxes haven't just fallen out the back with there not being a door there. <laughs> okay. So we're traveling. So how this works is, as we go, each time we 
travel we'll go to a location and we'll get a little map there there'll be some scavenging opportunities and then some little uh, like sub objectives that will basically be uh, yeah so there'll, there'll be these sub objectives that will give us some rare uh, materials yeah, okay, or some newbie. I'll keep this simple. Yeah, and parts and things. overwhelm that little brain of yours you'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage first on the list is plasma the woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. The arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Right. We will need an impact ah, hammer. Looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. So we need. Where are we? Impact hammer. Mark it. Scrap. Find those materials gas by any means gears. necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. Okay, um... Got some fabric. Is there a light that I can push to turn on? Because I can barely see. Oh, a ceiling Out of the kit. zone, all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Right. Got some more parts here. Got some more parts over here. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> and we should be fine at that. Um, let's have a look then. So an impact hammer. We need two gears. <coughs> There's some more buildings back here we could check out. Makes sense, cloth in a dresser. Backpack containing more cloth. to move on to another location and try for parts there right <coughs> hey uh, uh, driver I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now oh, can you not I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive I'll keep to the basics I promise they deserve to know what they're getting into fine I'm giving you 60 seconds that is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. 
It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly oh, and immediately to your radio and headset. I see. I've Anything just looked. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. <laughs> Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. So we needed to refine scrap into the gears. Right. Gotcha. Also, probably want, um, hmm, I wouldn't mind another pry bar because we've probably got about one more use of it. And, pop! Ooh, that lagged a bit, but, okay. Glass shards and some plasma. Oh. Here's a question. These lights. Oh, we can. Wires, pressurized cartridges, and glass. Now, do I need to build a uh, flashlight, or do I just get one of those? Tools. No. Okay, maintenance, doors, panels, bumpers, wheels, lights. I get headlights, but. Utilities. Refining. No, there's no flashlight I can build. Right. As we can see, if we go further around here, we should eventually start coming across some more houses. And that's our first bit of weirdness in the zone, okay. Ooh, and we are skidding. Right. We'll leave it running. We're just gonna run in. Get this charging already. Let's go! Looks like the charge goes up maybe when, I was going to say when the electric reaches the top, but I don't think that's necessarily true. Right. Okay, that should do us for plasma. Yeah, just keep hearing those noises from over there. Not intimidating at all. And we're going to avoid going through the uh, electric. 
But that does mean we're going to have to drive a bit off the road for a while. Right. There should be some uh, buildings around here. Structure and other ones are radio stations. Yeah, I guess the bows of them there. Right. Let's park away from that thing. I don't want it touching my car. As I've, I've watched a bit of it, so what they are is they're like magnets on the bottom of them and they just drag your car around. Oftentimes into other obstacles. Ooh, that might not be great for our health. Yeah, you can see we're getting irradiated as we approach. Um, let's go further down the road. Well, road, you know, dirt path. There should be another one on the right. We'll check that one out. Right. Yeah, we're going to see what it does. Destroy the stone? No. Ooh. Any way in? Doesn't still drag in my car, is it? Hmm. Oh, we still need one more plasma as well. Damn. Looks like it's been dragged all the way down the hill. As you can see, our radiation buildups increasing here. What do we need for this? Electrician's kit to get in. No, thank you. I think we might take less radiation if we get in the car, yeah. We take substantially less. Um, we are now in some kind of radiation zone. I accidentally turned something on there. <laughs> something retro looking, right, let's... If we're going to be in here, let's be quick at least. Okay, um... in the back here. Just a person. A guy in the toilet. <laughs> right. We could fill up the car maybe, but I don't think we need it and I want to get out of the radiation. Right. Okay. I think we'll take our leave here. <coughs> we need to look for either another one of those towers. What's that orange thing on there? 
Oh, just debris. So we need another tower. Well, if we don't want a tower, we'll have to find a research station or something that's been abandoned that maybe has one outside. Just ignore the floor moving up and down. Um, oh, actually, looks like this leads to... Um, We follow a dirt path just here. Where is it? Where is this dirt path that it's telling me on the map? I guess I'm on it, right. <coughs> Yeah, there should be a structure up here. There might be one outside of that. Okay. in case something tries to drag it away again. Might resist it a bit better. We've got a crude door and a spare tire. useful to have that around. Broadcast transmitter. Okay. I'm guessing we'll probably need that at some point. Need to put this in first. Right, one broadcast transmitter. door. Can we put this on the back? We absolutely can. Wonderful. If we built a bumper now, the car would be fully fitted. Right. Maybe this has a plasma thing at the bottom of it. It does not. Ooh. This could be a lot of mucking around. So what's that going to be up there? That will be a cabin. Here we go. I guess the only option left is to try out this uh, this one down here. See if there's anything at the cabin and ooh. Okay. Oh, there's another. There's the cabin. It's all graffiti to high hell. T 
TV. Um, right, what could I put away? Um, you know what, let's, let's head to the car, because we'll come back for those electronics then. Then we'll figure out what the hell that is over there. Okay. Stuff has been stored. Some ominous red lights as well that that way. The radiation has dropped us to 70% health now. So it's another one of those things, whatever it is. I'm guessing that's like an exit or dead end or something. That sounds bad. but we still need some plasma and I've not been finding any Piss. Oh, and we dropped it when we got bumped. Um, thank you. Right. I hope we haven't just sequence book and the tutorial. Because we may well have. What's those then? Legend. Getaway. Uh, gateway ready. Right, we, I think we're going to have to go back for some of these bits of plasma. There must be another tower back there somewhere. Um, that's going to straight form into. It's racing. Nope. Flat. I can see bits of scrap metal on the road there. I think we've lost a, yeah, we've lost a door on the right side. You can see on the damage report there. Now he's going off to the side. We can avoid him. Right. We 
need another tower or we need a uh, if not another tower a base where there's some there it is look you can see it poking out through the trees one last tower back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. The arc device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Right, let's have a look at the legend then. So what are those? Anchor's signal. And those are gateways that are ready. Anchor signal. Oh, it's pointing me back to the car. What is an anchor signal? I don't really see anything out here, so. I don't want to go off-road driving when the car's not exactly in its best condition. <laughs> we'll have to figure out that mystery another time. Right. Anyway, those weird glowing orbs we found earlier. So those are basically the batteries that we need to charge the arc device that she wanted us to use. So, luckily we didn't sequence break the tutorial, but... We have now got it charged and we're ready to go, so we need to approach one of those exits that's marked on the map, one of the orange diamonds. And then we should be able to leave. Um, right, this way, isn't it? That's the dirt path. And from what I can, what I understand, the dark areas of the map are low ground, and the lighter areas are high ground. So we just have to drive past here. And to one of these, uh... Those anchors may look here. like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face recently. Right. What is a uh It's a purple icon. Gateway too close. Oh, do I have to activate these? Ah! You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Well, we're not going to be able to scrap that or anything. We have to go. So. I hit a rock. <laughs> Oh, I hope we've got enough parts to fix this when we get back. Here we go. Oh, 
well, well. You're alive. We're certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, there have been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Right, well, there we have it. Um... Pick up that rooms with the impact hammer. Right, da, 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 da. here we go. Nice. Oh, and we can check the dumpster. Mm, some repair putty, that would be pretty good. Um, right. Assemble the antenna. And there we have it. Oh. And Don't need to turn it on. coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. Hey. I went about a handbrake earlier. Looks like we can get one. Nice. Okay. I'm going to put a pause here, though. You'll not notice. I'm just going to pause. I'm going to go get some snacks. I'll be back in a jiffy. Right. And I'm back. Oh, thanks for playing the preview. You won't be able to leave on your next ride, but if you're, but you're free to explore the auto shop. Save game data from this preview will not be compatible with the release version. I think that's a glitch that it's showing me that at this point, because I'm fairly certain we've got another mission to do before the before this is done. Um, right. Disconnector. Do I need to be a bit further on? Right, that's how we know. We know when we're parked, when that turns to connected. Okay. Job's a good one. So, handbrake. We need a handbrake. Ooh, we've got some stuff in here. Hand vac. Crude bumper, crude panel. Okay. Um, handbrake. Huh. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Right. What else did we have? There's a bumper, there's some repair putty. 
We'll just grab all the materials and things. Um, right. Let's get this installed. So we're missing some panels. Yeah, we're missing a panel there and a panel there. And I want to get the repair put equipped. Right. There's a bit of repair putty. Uh, the doors are fine. That panel probably wants a bit of fixing. It doesn't have to be fully repaired, you know, we just want it mostly repaired. You know, if something's not on... If it's not even at, like, half health, then I'm not going to take it off and repair. Like this, for example, this, this clearly needs repair. Right, well, open this up. Um, actually, right. What have we got in the boot? Um, and we want to transfer all the stuff. Can't quite carry all of it, but let's let's go shove it all in a locker. <coughs> right. Good. Um, we'll need a bit more stuff. Oh, search something in the dumpster to un help unload. Yeah. And they're calling it a trunk. It's like, no, it's we call it a boot. <laughs> right. Um. canned food does. Do we have a hunger bar? Maybe it heals? Who knows. Back. I want them. Those. Yep. Okay. <coughs> What have we got in here then? That should be fine then, we've got a spare tyre. Well, that's probably, uh, we didn't check tyres. None of them are particularly bad. Uh, we refueled, didn't we? Yes. Uh, so we need two... Yeah, we need two panels. Uh, we could probably use some repair put on the headlights, but... Oh. I've got all this plastic. Let's see if we can make a headlight. Um... Food headlight. We need some. Ooh, we need one more road flare. We can make some panels though. Um. 
Right. Panel. And panel. What have we got as well here? <clears throat> Cracked. Uh, glass is a fragile material. It's inevitable that stress and sudden shock are going to take their toll. It's a good idea to fill these crack uh, to fill these in before they get worse. I think there was something else that had a uh, quirk, wasn't there? Front tire. It's flat. Um. Right. We need a mechanics kit. Uh. Hang on. Inventory. And equip. Right. There we are. I think we even have a uh, ceiling kit, don't we, somewhere? Might as well use it since we've got it. Right. They recommend a battery jumper as well. We'll craft one. So in the back we've got... Let's see. Ramshackle but effective. Carefully connect this single use device to any failing automobile battery and stand clear. Right. Spare tyre, repair putty, med kits, dinner um right we're set to go store that um we need a oh we were gonna make a headlight weren't we but we can't yeah duct tape Road flares. Um, also, I was thinking I need a new pry bar, but yeah, we need more tape, basically. Right. We'll select a destination. Much as I'd like to send you on a one way trip out of here, Tobias won't let me hear the end of it if I don't test your car for this remnant thing. But we can't do that by staying put. The instability's made a mess of the roads here. Our maps get outdated as quickly as we draw them. Luckily, you've got those wheels and my genius, <laughs> so here's the plan. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. The off device will chart the roads as you drive and allow us to find ways to get you where you need to go. But you have to make it back with the data intact, and only returning to the garage through a gateway will do. So, get driving. And don't forget to fix up your car as you go. Right. We'll head over here. <coughs> We've got to go through two areas to get through. But in the demo, the departure door will remain closed. Ah. Are we done now? We might be done then. Even if I go to say... No, I can't even activate any of, other, any of the others. Right. It would appear that that's our lot then. I'm going to say in the 
a full on um, they did like a preview build that was a little bit more extensive it looks like than this demo but that allowed you to go one mission further along than this has but we've had a good look at it here we're, well, let's see, ooh, we're just past the 1 hour 20 minute mark I think we've had a good enough look um, I'll let you preview some of the stuff you can build as you go along here so uh, to just kind of as you can probably gather you know the whole point of the game is you're just going through dry, uh, upgrading your car so that you can go on more dangerous uh, on more dangerous routes and drives and that and bring back more and more stuff but that will mean that you'll have to go further into the zone to get better stuff to upgrade your car more so that you can go even further and you get the, you get you kind of get the core gameplay loop here you know go out get a load of stuff come back tinky with your car for about half an hour go back out again <coughs> and to that end the real test of this is going to be well how much stuff is there to upgrade that's kind of going to be the big thing here and like here it's yeah so this is garage upgrades so tons of lockers we've got um parts lockers there <laughs> rapid refill pump experimental charging stations better antennas so you can uh, go further into the zone incident boards uh junction restabilizers and bypasses and yeah repair stations even a fax machine <laughs> Because it's, I guess it's like the 80s or something in this. Um, yeah, athletic simulation station. <laughs> but then going more on to the uh, refine here, we can get to, you know, you can make gears with parts, then you can make bulbs, steel sheets, circuit boards, uh, carbon fiber glass, and limb chips. Survival tools. I think there is, right, so the repair putty, we can get eventually an electrician's kit, um, which will help you repair your electronics issues, you've got blow torches, which will repla replace the repair putty, this liberator, so you'll have noticed at the moment we have to scrap pieces off of cars, like literally tear, uh, tear them down, and then we can pull off the parts. But what if we wanted to like just take a door or a wheel as is? The liberator here will allow you to do that. You just fire on the little tiny demo chargers and it blasts apart clean off without uh, just blowing it to shreds. You get better scrappers, vacuum cleaners, radars and that. Better impact so you can improve all your tools. Ah! We can eventually, yeah. We can get a flashlight. There we go. So, light replacement kit. Then proper headlights, reinforced ones as well, or bio ones and insulated ones. And flares and things. We get... This is like all our panels and doors. We can get uh, armoured ones, Olympium ones, anti-corrosive, lead-plated insulated to protect against you know uh, electricity or radiation uh, or just have more durability anti-corrosive so some I'm assuming there's gonna be acid in there um, some with tiles we get to off-road ones then to puncture proof paddle tires which I guess are for going in water or possibly acid from the sounds of things all terrain power grip we get racks to put on the car so we can mount equipment what equipment oh well first yeah we get the uh, XL roof storage and the uh, better trunk storage and that we get the uh, upgrades to fuel cans there's tons and tons of stuff we'll keep just flicking through here you know we can upgrade the battery we can get a lightning rod so if if we get hit by electricity, it at least charges the battery. We'll still take damage, but you know. Um, <clears throat> even like, uh, what's it? Anchor energy converter, XL roof batteries, leak resistant. Then, what we got here? The auto parker, 
Iron Shield, Vsauce Vedas, Mobile Workbench, Lazarus Device. I'm assuming so that gives us probably a one-up um, while we're out. Nitro Boost, Anti-Grav, Magnetic Bumpers, Mobile, uh, yeah. And then Engine Upgrades and stuff. Um... I'm thinking, yeah, we get all these racks. Where was it now that you get the stuff to put on the racks? Um, well, not certain. But you can definitely create, like, a storage and bigger fuel tanks and stuff that attach to the racks. So... That's something I know, but yeah, there's a ton of stuff, absolutely tons and tons of stuff uh, to a ridiculous amount, absolutely ludicrous. Um, and yeah, it's coming out later this month. It will pretty much, without a doubt, be on the channel if you want to watch it or if you want to just buy it yourself. So yeah, this has been Pacific Drive. I'm very much looking forward to this i'm i'm loving how mu how much it simulates like the car and stuff i am genuinely surprised and i think they've missed a trick when they've not made this vr it's i've not i've not really thought that about a game since uh, alien isolation cancelled its vr mode just an absolutely absolute travesty when i heard that that had happened you know <clears throat> and i think this is probably the same if it were VR or if you could use a steering wheel on it, that would have been absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> or both. Dun dun dun. <laughs> anyway. But yes. Very much one to watch. Very enjoyable. Brilliant for just a nice, chill kind of car. Well, car mechanic simula uh, simulating game. It's honestly, it's more in depth with the simulation of fixing and repairing and looking after the car. Than a lot of actual like mechanic simulator type games are. Now, I don't think I've seen this much care and attention into the creation and customization of a vehicle for, well, I think ever. So, anyway, that will finally end my coverage of the Steam Next Fest. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be having a much more extended look at this later on, as I've mentioned. This will probably be on the channel toward the end of the month on its release um so you can stay tuned for that and that concludes the steam access it will be i think it's back in june i think it usually is but it'll be back for the summer so we'll be covering it again then and then i believe it goes into october the next one after that more on the channel stick around to keep uh, if you want to keep watching some other videos Right now it should be, at this point, probably still Helldivers. And then obviously, then it's going to move on to Pacific Drive. Um, and I think then, as we get through to the end of March, it'll be moving towards Dragon's Dogma probably then, as we finish this off and Helldivers and that. So, have a look on the channel. And I hope you've enjoyed the Steam Next Fest. I have, it's definitely been a good one. There's been some really good games out. And I'll see you for future videos. I'll see you then.